Hi everyone. So today we have a wonderful chewy oatmeal chocolate chip cookie recipe for the holidays. So first thing is you need to get your oven turned on to 190 degrees Celsius and then uh, we'll start mixing the ingredients. So the ingredients will be listed uh, below for you to reference them. Um, in a large bowl you'll need to mix 230 grams of softened butter with 240 grams of brown sugar, but not the regular brown sugar. Uh, here it's called Muscovado Tsuka. So it's something special you got to look for. Amazon should have it. Um, then you need 100 grams of white sugar and uh, you need to mix them with the butter until they get nice and creamy. Next, you add two eggs, two tablespoons of milk, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. If you don't have the extract, you can use two teaspoons of vanilla sugar. So beat that well. And then we add the um, 220 grams of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of salt. Uh, mix that well. And now we have the oats. So these are just regular oats that you can get at the grocery store. You'll need 225 grams. Now, the recipe says you need chocolate chips. You can do two or three boxes of them. If you would like some more, you're perfectly welcome to throw a few extra boxes in there. Okay, um, but at this point, the dough is going to be rather stiff. So uh, you'll switch from um, mixing it with uh, a whisk to actually using a spatula or a wooden spoon to get it well incorporated. Now, you can either put it uh, on some back... Pa uh, baking paper, bak papier, uh, and form a log and put it in the fridge for a little bit and then do thin slices or you can start scooping it up uh, with either spoons or an ice cream scoop. Um, and then you'll put it on an ungreased baking sheet. So you can just put some baking paper down or the um, just on the regular pan and you'll want to bake them for 9 to 10 minutes. Once they're finished, pop them out and you'll leave them to sit for about five minutes on the baking tray. And then after that, once they've firmed up a little bit, uh, it should be easier to put them on a cooling rack. Uh, let them cool completely and then store them in a bag. Um, make sure that you can seal it, but if, they, if you leave them too long and they get a little hard, take a slice of uh, white bread, like sandwich bread, uh, and stick it in the bag for a few hours or maybe a day or two, and they'll soften right back up and be wonderful. I hope you enjoy.